we can use a chi-squared test to test a claim about a population variance. Consider the following problem. Suppose that an employee's commute time to work is normally distributed with a mean commute time of 40 minutes and a variance of 100 minutes squared. In an effort to try to reduce the variability of his commute time, the employee maps out a more direct but less highway miles route to work. A random sample of 20 commute days yielded a sample variance of 64 minutes squared. We want to know if there is evidence that the employee's commute time is less variable. Let's let the random variable C denote the, com the employee's commute time. We are told that it is normally distributed with a mean of 40 minutes and a standard deviation of 10 minutes. Where did, this, where did the standard deviation of 10 minutes come from? Well, we're told that the variance is 100 minutes squared. Taking the square root gives us a standard deviation of 10 minutes. Sigma squared is the variance of the new commute time for his new route to work. Our null hypothesis for this problem will then be that the variance, sigma squared, is equal to 100 minutes squared compared to the alternative that sigma squared, the variance, is less than 100 minutes squared. Why was the one-sided alternative chosen? It was chosen because we were interested in knowing if that there was evidence that the employee's commute time is less variable. Therefore, we have the one-sided alternative. The chi-squared test statistic has the following form. We take n minus 1, where n is the sample size, multiply it by the sample variance, s squared, and we divide by sigma squared, and that is our test statistic. What is n in our problem? There were 20 in our sample, so n is 20. s squared, our sample variance, is 64 minutes squared and sigma squared is 100 minutes squared. So we have 19 times 64 divided by 100 is equal to 12.16. That is our chi-squared test statistic value. This test statistic has a chi-squared distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom, or for this problem it is chi-squared distribution with 19 degrees of freedom. We are now ready to calculate the p-value for the problem. The p-value is the probability that a chi-squared random variable with 19 degrees of freedom is less than our test statistic of 12.16. To find this p-value, we need to go to a chi-squared distribution table. The p-value for this problem is shaded in the following graph. Here we have a chi-squared random variable with 19 degrees of freedom. We have our chi-squared test statistic value of 12.16. Our p-value is the probability that a chi-squared random variable with 19 degrees of freedom is less than 12.16, or the shaded region here. Going up to our table and the row of 19 degrees of freedom, we need to go across the row until we find our test statistic value of 12.16. We see that our test statistic lies between 11.6 and 14.56. The area up here is the right tail probability. Here is the value that we look up in the chart and it gives you the right tail probability. We know that this shaded region right here must lie between 0.75 and 0.90. That is the right tail area is between 0.75 and 0.9 based on the values in our table. We need to convert this to a p-value. We want the left tail area, not the right tail area. Converting to a p-value, we see that our p-value must lie between 0.10 1 minus 0.9 and 0 0.25 which is 1 minus 0.75. So our p-value is between 0 0.10 and 0.25. Knowing our p-value, we can decide whether we will reject or fail to reject our null hypothesis. Because the p-value is greater than 0 0.10, we fail to reject the null hypothesis that the variance of the new commute time is 100 minutes squared. 
Let's use our TI calculator to calculate the exact p-value for this problem. We can do this using the chi-squared CDF function on our calculator. We want the probability that the chi-squared random variable with 19 degrees of freedom is less than 12.16. So our range that we're interested in is 0 to 12.16 with degrees of freedom 19. Let's go to the calculator, go to second vars, down to number 7, chi-squared CDF. Our range is 0 to 12.16, and we have 19 degrees of freedom. We hit enter, and we get a p-value of 0 0.12. From the table, we knew that our p-value was between 0.1 and 0.25, but the calculator gives us the exact probability of 0.12.